Hello everybody, my name is Victor. I'm a visual artist based in Berkeley, California. Um, this video is to talk about the work I have in the show Mirror Within and where the ideas come, come from and also to talk about the performance I will be doing on the 16th of December 2022. If you're watching this after the 16th, then the, the performance I did on the 16th of December 2022 so to begin with, let, let's start with the, um, the period the work was done in. This was done in 2020 to 2022, that two-year period during the pandemic. Now, this was a particularly hard period for me because I lost friends during the pandemic. I moved twice um, and I yeah, changed jobs twice. <laughs> so a lot was going on during that year and um, during those years. And as everybody knows, the pandemic was hard on everybody. Um, for me, art is a coping mechanism as much as it's a hobby, it's um, a vocation. It's something I, I gravitate towards. I love to create, I love to paint. I've painted for all my life. I mean, I remember the first drawing I did, I was four years old uh, my mom said draw your dad you know and i picked up a pencil and drew something and the journey just continued from there and coming to present today um, the exhibition i have it has got eight works um, that's the one at alameda island brewing company while creating this work i let go of conscious thought and feel my way around the canvas I seek to tap into a, my deeper being and materialize what I feel there. The title Mirror Within came to me as I was meditating on my artistic process. Um, and the title to me means I, the artist, do not own the work. The narrative, the feeling, the work is a mirror for whoever stands before it. So with that being said, it's... um. It's interesting because every artist has a right to say what their work is about and everybody has a right to say what they see in the work. Um, if it's abstract work, it's open to interpretation. You, you see what you are, basically. And that I'm, by that I mean you can't see what you're not uh, because what we perceive is based on a foundation of memory. And the memory of what we have experienced, what we, what we have um, been told, what, you know, is is what then forms the blueprint of what you uh, interpret an ab abstract painting um, as. So, for example, if if you have a good association with the color yellow and it reminds you of good and happy times with the family and maybe there was a something yellow by the beach where you were playing as a child and it was a great moment for you then the way you approach a predominantly yellow abstract painting will have a different effect to somebody who experiences yellow as a dark as a dark color in terms of feeling um because they've had a negative experience with it. So our interpretation of color or line or form is based on what we have been through. Hence the title Mirror Within. You will see what you are. You, you conjure up the strongest feelings and those will direct you around the painting to come to a conclusion of what it is you see and feel in it. So... Um, by that token, it's it will be interesting to see what people come up with um, during the performance because the layout of the performance is I will pass a sheet around with 10 slots for questions. Um, people will write down a question and then when I start the performance, I will answer these questions in a very interesting way. I can't give away too much about that, but um, it will be... Tapping into the idea of information and ex versus experience. Um, could a question from a stranger be answered 
on a highly emotional and intelligent level um, by a stranger? And if yes, how can that be? If no, why not? Versus a question answered with logic, you know, th that has a path we can follow. Um, so that's a snippet of what the performance will be about. I won't go too deep into that, but um, yeah. And the work we've been looking at right now, um, one of my favorites in this exhibition, actually, I like them all. One of my favorites, though, is Stormtrooper Meditating. And why I like this painting is because when I created it, it was an absolute stream of consciousness. I wasn't intending to create a recognizable image. I wasn't intending to have a um, figurative painting done. But when it was completed and I started showing it around, some people saw um, a stormtrooper. Some people saw um, somebody meditating just like that. And then some people saw a stormtrooper meditating. Um, and other people saw um, a race car driver because the head looks like a helmet. Now, all this wasn't intentional from my part. So subconsciously, I managed to pull out images that were within me about things that I don't necessarily gravitate towards because I'm not a big um, Star Wars fan, if that's where stormtroopers come from. N no, am I a big uh, um, race, uh, um, car racing fan, you know, so those two don't align. But I do gravitate towards meditation and everything um, around that space. And when I look back as the artist, I begin to wonder, where, where did that image come from? You know, and how can it be that I create something that people inter interpret in different ways yet it's the same image and i the creator am also an observer who doesn't really know what it is um, the titles don't really mean a lot to me for example uh one of the paintings is called uh 3rd of march uh, 26th of march 2022 uh $4.20 $4 and 52 sorry <laughs> And the reason why I gave it that is people always want to name things. To me, yeah, titles are important if you're doing something with historical significance or with significance to as a commentary. Yeah, titles are, are important. But when I paint in, in abstract form, sometimes the title is irrelevant. Um, I could use the title simply for cat for cataloging, you know, for for being able to place a certain painting uh, in a certain category to say, OK, that's um, 26th of March 2022. And then we know what painting we're talking about. So cataloging, that's why I use um, the, that, that title for. But it's got a backstory, which is the interesting part, because I bought I upcycled this canvas and in other words, I went to to a thrift store, bought a used canvas and then um, repurposed it for this painting. And on the back of it was a sticker the the price tag had the date uh, 26th of March uh, 2022. And it was $4.52 for the canvas, which is a really decent price for a 20 uh, by 20, uh, 20 by 24 canvas. I mean, really decent price. And um, yeah, so, so sometimes it's all a joke. It's, um, somebody said, don't take life too seriously. You'll never get out of it alive. And I think sometimes we take life too seriously in in terms of searching for meaning, searching for answers. Um, yet we've been taunted throughout history by things we cannot 
explain and give meaning to. One, one very basic example would be the mystery of the chicken and the egg. I mean, what came first, the chicken or the egg? It begs the question, what is the original source? And so for me, titles are trying to place meaning into my, onto my work when it actually doesn't have no meaning. It has a feeling to it, but it doesn't mean something, if that makes sense. Um, when I paint, I paint out of feeling. Um, when I paint abstract work, I paint out of feeling. Um, I, ha I do do fig figurative work too, um, as you can see on the screen. But when I paint abstract, it's just free-flowing feeling. If you have any questions about my work, I'm happy to answer that. If you'd like to get into conversation about art in any shape or form, I'm happy to engage on that level too. All right, thanks so much for watching.